Hey, what's up? This is my third firearm review. And this time it is the Ruger 1022. First off, it has a, a camel sling. And that's pretty much it for uh, non factory parts. I'll do a safety check for you. Nothing in there. And the chamber is open and I will leave it like that all right so Ruger 1022 there are probably way too many things people say about them they're good they're bad they suck they they're the best 22 out there all preference when it comes to 22s since everything seems to be preference there's no better than the other it's just how you operate it so I I love this gun uh, accuracy is amazing um, It's probably the funnest gun I've shot in a while, uh, even over my shotguns, because I can just have fun with it. Um, doesn't make too much noise. The only thing bad about the Ruger 1022 is cleaning it. It's easy to take apart and everything, but once you get the bolt out of the receiver is a pain in the ass to get it back in. But other than that, you couldn't ask for a better 22. Also, safety is right here and it's on. Anyway, um, these are also probably top two customizable, as in you can pretty much make this the way you want. You can make it tactical, you can make it for hunting, like mine, mine's for hunting, sling, and that's it. Um, in New York, you cannot have a higher capacity than 10, which is the factory. Shit, the factory, uh, factory magazine. Uh, they have 25, 30, and 50 row for 22s. If you don't live in New York, I suggest getting a 25 round or a 50 round drum um, but I made a video of my of the 22 long rifle ammo this gun well my particular gun does not like the golden bullets but when it comes to ammo each gun is different they will like some that another gun won't like so Shoot as many as you can, figure out what it likes, and then stack up on that ammo. Um, 22s are said to be uh, dangerous, dangerous at a 
mile and a half, which would can be true depending on the situation you're shooting. And um, I was hunting one time, and I was on top of a hill, and I was using this. Uh, at the bottom of the hill, it'd probably would be 100, 150 yards. I had to shoot between a couple trees, and I shot a squirrel. And like this had this was there's only inches between the trees, and it was just dead on accurate. So I I would definitely recommend one of these if you're new to um new to guns or you just want a gun that you can shoot a lot of without breaking your wallet <clears throat> and for people who do not know the screw right here I'll bring it closer screw right there is to take the stock off from the receiver and the barrel Hmm, not much else to say about it. Um, they're relatively cheap. They're around 200 bucks, depending on what model you get. I, just, I have the standard uh, base model. Uh, you can get a couple different ones with synthetic stocks, uh, wood stock, just all type of stuff. But um, I think that's about it. If you have any questions about this, uh, let me know in the comment, uh, channel comment, or a private message. I will get that squared away for you if you have any questions. Or if you just need more information about the Ruger 1022, then... Also, you can send me a message. Um, I think that's about it for now. Yeah, that's about it for now. Thanks for watching.